the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Hey, God bless you. I'm glad you made to show up and listen to the, uh, <laughs> the video. I'm, I'll make them 10 minutes, uh, about 10, no more 15 minutes a piece, so that you, you know, I know that you've got a busy schedule. And when you have a busy schedule, it has a tendency to, uh, you, can, you know, you can't only take with so much. Uh, and I don't mean so much, but the fact is like, you're trying to get somewhere. Um, I try to send these out. Uh, people driving, uh, they can listen to it like a radio or, you know, you got people, uh, you know, I mean, we scrolling through the, uh, the internet. It's just, it's just a lot of stuff, you know, to absorb and analyze. So I, I truly understand how people uh, really have to deal with, you know, the challenges of, managing your time. So let's keep them short, but let's just keep them real at the same time too, right? And so, so you know, I've been talking about the fact is uh, the importance and the power of love. Man, I'm telling you, love is powerful. See, I've, and, and I've said it before, i said say it again, a lot of cases, this is session seven, a lot of cases people sit there and say, you know, when they hear the word love, I mean, we are so, we, we, we bushed it up so much. We, we distorted it, you know? And I, I, tell, I tell somebody, the man said, this to you before, you know, like the movie uh, Raw with uh, Eddie Murphy. Uh, he did Raw and uh, <laughs> he got caught. <laughs> and he, he said, this lady, I just had sex with, but I love you. And see, those are the type of things that we hear in our life. We talk about people who say, if you love me, then you, you go rob a bank with me, right? Or you love me, you you will uh, you will sleep with this guy for me, you know. You or you sell your body, or you'll take these drugs, or you you'll do a dare <laughs> just to prove to somebody that you love them. Not understanding that what they're actually going to do is opposite of what love is. Love, I said, and I said again, it's, 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 it's an emotional feeling that has actions associated with it in which a person does something that is beneficial to both of you. What I mean, if you love somebody and then you that tells you to walk off a cliff, then you need to understand, well, that, that's not, that's not love. And you know, the scripture we're talking about is, and um, we, we said it is that in the, in the scriptures, the two greatest commandments is to love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, and all thy mind, and, you know, all thy strength, and to love thy neighbor as thyself. You know, it's, it's just it's just important for us to understand the love, you know? So, I mean, here, I'll show it to you right quick. Uh, let me go ahead and put it up here. Let's see if I can make it bigger for you. But I, if not, I'll go ahead and make it a slide so you can see it better on the screen. But this is the great commandment. Jesus, they asked a question from Jesus, and Jesus said, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the laws and the prophets. You know, I mean, that's, that's what, that's, what he wants us to do. I mean, it really is, is, is to me, it says to get along and to love your neighbors yourself. Now, I did brought up a, a very interesting conversation with a friend of mine. You know, 
we know about the feeling we have toward the love of our parents, uh, the love of our wife or girlfriend, or you know, opposite, if you're the opposite, and, <laughs> and, and then love your children, and even love your friends. You know, it's funny people sit there and think that men don't love one another, and men do. They, they, they you know, hey, bro, you know, bro, but they, they got your back, you know what I mean? I mean, the ones that really love you, they, they got your back. They're not gonna let you get beat down and torn up. They, they stand up there with you, right? So that's the type of love. And they like to go, go fishing, deal with sports, uh, play cards, go to the, go to the club or the bar and drink beer or something like that. But they're spending time with each other. And that's the same thing we do when we talk about our children. We spend time with them, right? So love is, is, is an action where, and to me, I always like the better word. I know people may not like that word, but act of kindness to one another, you know? Even when uh, you you get in a fight and, and, and you, 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 you win in a fight, just like anyone said, professional fights and so forth, you don't keep beating the person down that you, uh, you, you, you beat, you won against, right? You, you sit there and you fo focus on the fact is that you you did all what you needed to do and hopefully that sucker don't want to keep fighting, right? <laughs> uh, you, don't want, you don't want to hurt somebody, you don't want to kill nobody. So the, 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 the point is that love is, 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 is really just making sure that you don't try to do harm to someone uh, that causes permanent damage or anything like that. It's an act of kindness. Uh, and he said, towards you, I, you know, that's what I'm going to say, is that we have the love relationship with others that we can project on. But have you ever asked the question, how do you love yourself? What does that mean? Did, did you ever realize this is somebody's advantage, kind of vain or something? Uh, there's a lot of cases we we don't I don't I mean I don't see the same love toward myself as I have toward uh, my wife, my mother, my brother, my sisters. You know, it, it, it's 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 a different type of this awareness of who I am. Uh, survival instinct plays a big role in in who I am, uh, but it, it doesn't have that same type of love because I think. You know, like agape love is a God kind of love, and that, that's unconditional love. Then there's the uh, uh, filial, brotherly love, and then there's erotica, which is a relationship type love, sexual relationship type love towards somebody, right? Of committing, commitment to this person. But what, what, what you ever ask a question about, what about your, the love that you have towards yourself? Because that's probably, you know, it's very important on that because. The love, the commandment is to love your neighbor as yourself. So <laughs> think about it. How you love yourself determines how you're going to love your neighbor, right? And, and it's, he, I, I like the way he put that concept in saying, that neighbor, not your wife, not your parents, not your children, you know, your neighbor, not your best friend, your neighbor. Right? Think about it. So how do you how do you how do you love yourself? Have you ever thought about that? Isn't that important to understand? You have a love toward yourself. And, then, and, and you know there's people who don't love themselves and abuse themselves, cut themselves. But, you know, those people gotta put away. <laughs> they got issues. But you know they talk about the uh, when a relationship with a marriage where if a person is a uh, be their spouse. They really hate themselves, right? Because you, if you're hurting your spouse and you're one, you really hate yourself. So think about that. How do you do? You love yourself, and if you love yourself, and I think that most of us do in some form or fashion. I know most have got that instinct of survival, right? So if that's the case, then we really do need to sit there and say, okay, love my neighbor is to basically. Just like Father of the Third, act of kindness, the golden rule, which is do unto others as you have others do unto you, right? Because hey, you love yourself, that you don't want to be abused. You don't want you don't want nobody to steal from you, so you don't steal from them. 
you don't want people to, to, to blatantly lie to you, so you don't want to lie to them, right? It's, it's, it's a tit for tat about how you want life, society, to deal with you and react to you. You want people to respect you, so you respect them. You want people to listen to you, you listen to them, right? The scripture said, give and it shall be given. Good measure, press down, shake together, run an ocean, man, give it to your bosom. So it is a, 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 a mutual uh, love toward your fellow man as you want to be loved. You meet a stranger, you don't sit there. You as, If somebody meets you as a stranger, you don't want to be rude to you, right? So you don't want to be rude to them. So God constantly uses that word neighbor. The fact is, do you love yourself? You need to love God. You need to love yourself. And then you got to love people as yourself, right? And like I said, you're not googly eyes with yourself, right? There some people are, right? They need to get a mirror. They look, oh, Lord, look at this, right? But the reality is, Love your neighbor as yourself. Think about how you love yourself. Think about how you look at yourself. And do the same to other people. Amen? That's why I think about that. And I just want to pass it on to you. And uh, we'll see you next time. Amen? God bless you. All right. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye.